Zombie Apocalypse. Hey everybody, Tinkercad Beta is now official and it's time to use that beta to create a new keychain. I would like you to click create a new design and when it launches, let's start by naming the file. Uh, keychain Mike by clipping it, clicking it, and then typing over it. And I've made several, so I'm going to name mine Mike 2. As soon as you got that done, come over and grab the box. Uh, on the box, one neat thing that we can do, uh, first we can pick a color, and I'm going to make mine blue just because it's about the lions, and why not make it blue? Uh, I want to make my length 25, and I want to make my width 70. Type in the box and press enter, and you can see that it grows. I want to make my height 2. So click the end and hit 2. That is the size that I demand for a keychain. If you chose a cylinder, it's the same thing. You can click on the boxes, but this one you have to stretch by hand. So there's my 70, and there's my 25, and the 2. I'm flexible whichever you pick. I'm going to stick to the rectangle for this one. You can change it if you want. Once we have our keychain made, it's time to add a hole. Just drag the whole cylinder out. We're going to use the technique where we hold down shift and grab one corner and I'm holding shift on the keyboard until it says 5x5. Five five. I'm going to roll the scroll wheel in and I'm going to grab that item and put it up in the top left hand corner of my keychain. Make sure by right click orbiting that it's going to cut through and then I'm going to grab the whole thing and this is where the coolness happens. When we group it, it cuts it out because it is a hole. Remember, if you ever make a mistake, you can use undo up here. Uh, right now, I want you to press W, which is work plane, and click on the top of your keychain so that the text that we grab and drop out lands on top. Uh, you can pick any of the four fonts that you want. I'm going to use Serif. You can put any word that you want. I'm going to put Lions, celebrating how well my Lions are doing right now. I want you to click on the height box, and I want you to make it one millimeter thick. I want you to make it a hole so that it's clear, because we're going to cut these words out. I'm going to type the word Lions again, because it's switched away. And then I want you to grab the black handles to shrink it so that it fits on your keychain. So you can see my L is kind of poking out. By doing this, it shrinks, or I can shrink it this way. I get to pick which way I prefer. When you've got it uh, lined up like that, then I want you to grab the black handle, and I want you to sink it in one millimeter so it's flat grab all the pieces and group it so now your cool phrase is cut out of your awesome keychain. We used to cut these all the way out, but because the font Major Snafu is gone, uh, we're choosing to just indent these because otherwise the O would have been cut off. Press the letter W to shut off the work plane. Just click on the blue and that gets rid of it. And at this point, you need to export your file as an STL so you can share it with me. Make sure when it saves, you keep track of where it goes. I am choosing to put mine in the downloads folder. Yours may just go there by itself. When you've got that completed, open another window and go to your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, hit New, and you want to do a file upload. When you hit File Upload, make sure you find your folder where you put it. I put mine once again in the Downloads. I've done this project a couple times, so I'm going to upload the other copy that I created. And when you do that, it uploads that quickly. At that point, you need to right-click on the file. You need to click Share. Go to Shareable Link, and I want you to go down to More and make it public on the web. Anyone with the link, let's actually do anyone with the link can access, they don't have to sign in. You don't have to make it public on the web. So click that, click Save, 
and at that point you can copy the link say you're done open one more window and type bit dot ly slash two 3d print to 3d print and when you do that it'll take you to the page where you can share your information type in the date your name what it is that you were printing if you're in one of my classes put the hour that you see me these are the colors that are available I don't guarantee that I will print them but you may ask for the one and just hope and then simply paste the link in the box so I'm gonna paste that just like that and BAM you are ready to have yours printed congratulations on finishing and make sure you check in the next day to show me or to ask for your awesome keychain Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse